Welcome to part 11 of our Fundamentals of Working with Excel 2010 series. In this video, I want to show you how to work with the filter option to filter a list of data. And you're going to see here I've got a list of information inside of Microsoft Excel. It's basically an employee roster that has their name and then the division, department, and position that they work for. And I want to be able to filter this list so that I'm only seeing certain pieces of data at any one time. The first row on my list, just like with the sort tool, needs to be the field names. You can see here, row one in my list are the individual field names. To turn on the filters, what you're going to do is go to the data tab up at the top and then click on the filter option. When you do that, you're going to notice the drop-down arrows appear to the right of each one of your fields. You can now click that drop-down arrow and select only a subset of the information. For example, let's say I click the drop-down for position here. You're going to see right now all the different positions are checked. But I'm going to uncheck Select All, and I only want to see Administrative Assistance, Accounting Assistance, and um, group administrative assistance. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you'll see that my list has now been filtered, so I'm only seeing people that are in those positions. You can go even further, because when you click on this option, you actually have the sort tools right from here. So I can click sort A to Z, and that will sort by what I filtered on. Now let's say you only want to see people who work in the engineering department in the toys division. To clear the old filter out, what you're going to do is you're going to come up here to sort and filter and click the clear button. And this will restore your list back to normal. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the drop down for department, uncheck select all, and click engineering. And then I'll click OK. So I'm now filtering by that one field. Now I'll click the drop down for division. Again, uncheck select all and just click toys. And now I'm only seeing people who are in the engineering department assigned to the toys division. And again, if I wanted to, I could come here and I could sort by their last name. So the filter tool is a really powerful, really simple tool to work with inside of Excel that will allow you to um, generate reports. And remember, whenever you want to get out of the filter, you can always click the clear button. If you look in the lower left hand corner, you're actually going to see it's telling me that I am filtering. I'm filtering for only 12 of 114 records. So clicking clear will get rid of that filter. When you want to stop using the filter options, you just simply click filter and that will turn off the drop down arrows. If your list was already filtered when you turn the filter off, it will clear the filter and then turn it off. So there's no chance of actually losing data here. 